In the last episode, we were transported to the Lost World, where we got to see cloud forest vegetation, which typically grows at around 2,000 meters above sea level. And in this episode of this five-part series of Gardens by the Bay, we'll continue to tour with Chad Davis to see some epic views on the cloud walk. So let's go out on the cloud walk. Gosh, this is amazing. This is an incredible view. Yep, welcome to Singapore. And welcome to Gardens by the Bay. So you can get a view from the top. Earlier I was telling you about the super trees and this one here is on top of the liquid desiccant room. This is the one that can vent out any extra heat that's left over. And here is our, our main grove. This is 12. The tallest one in the middle has a restaurant up there. Oh, fantastic. 50 meters high. I hope it's good food. I haven't stayed for the food, but I can tell you the bar on the top and the view uh, a plus. Is, is worth the price of admission. Yeah, that's <laughs> really, uh, I'm so pleased that we have such a clear view today because the whole time we've he been here, it's been gray and rainy. So I'm stoked to actually see such an incredible epic view. Glad we can please. Yeah. We'll see what else we've got over here. Is that rickrack cactus? Uh, Zygo cactus, yeah. I believe. Zygo. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This is called uh, uh, Super Florins and it's got giant, giant flowers. And here you can see uh, Tiger and Reddy, a couple of our guys doing some yeah. cleanup and deadheading. You're doing a great job. You really are. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Yeah, so these guys are really what makes it all happen. These guys are part of my green army I was telling you about. That's fantastic. Hi, thank you so much. You guys are doing such an incredible job. Um, some of these guys were put on here in 2012 when we first started. Um, and they're just growing and growing and growing. Um, there's one of them that is so happy on here, we have to keep cutting it back so it doesn't eat the whole world. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is, this is like a total push and shove for some of these guys, I'd imagine. You ever seen this guy here, this bromeliad looking thing with, with the, the purple purples? flowers? No, I don't think yeah, so. That's a cochlea stemma. It's related to the Tritoscantias. Oh, are you serious? Uh -huh. It comes from the Andes. And they are, uh, they're really cool. They're one of my favorites. That is pretty cool to see that the coevolution of that plant. Yeah. So we've got some more streptocarpus here, making they're nice carpets. Yeah, they're just blanketing the, the walls. Some antheriums and a chance to look down. down uh -huh. uh, this is the uh, tiger begonia. This is the one that would eat the whole mountain. Oh, wow, I see it. <laughs> I think if we kept the environmental systems running in here, um, and left everything untouched, yeah. we would end up with uh, some nephrolepsis and this tiger begonia and not much else. You'd have, yeah, you'd have to say, let the best man win. Yeah. And then what about this uh, very neon green one? I haven't, I'm not. Yeah, I think that's the cultivar called Marmaduke. Huh. Um, and it's, uh, it's been a, uh, a great one there. It makes yeah. a nice pop of color. Yeah, yep. Oh, there's so much to see and take in and every day you come through, something else will catch your eye. This is another bromeliad look-alike, Dorianthus palmeri from Australia. But there's no flower on it, right? Not yet. They say that it takes about seven to 10 years before they flower for the first time. And we are approaching that mark. Um, so it should be a, about a two meter tall bloom stalk with uh, nice big red flowers. Curious to see our first one. And then how about the bright orange ones that we're seeing right there kind of hanging down? Do you know those, the flowers? Um, it's one of your Gersneriads. Okay. Um, I and not great on them. Yeah, it's so hard, you know, you want to get so close to it, but you can't, uh, it's not within arm's length. <laughs> Gotta get closer to see. Yeah. I mean, and I'm not prepared to rappel down, but thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be fun, huh? I know. So, some people ask about uh, doing bungee jumping yeah. off of here. Oh my goodness. Also gives you a chance to- uh, Oh yeah, take in the take layers. Take in a view from the top. Wow. And see the different, uh, different aspects. So here's the orchid, the orchid corner over there. People posing in front of our, uh, our hybrid series. And all the palms and the tree ferns from the top. It's great looking at the tree ferns from the top, huh? Yeah. Did you ever think about bringing like some wildlife in here? 
Um, we have some sunbirds that okay. have made it in on their own. Okay. They're quite happy inside here. Yeah, I would be, I would be too. Um, and there have been some talks okay. about bringing in butterflies and yeah. things, but butterflies means caterpillars, mm -hmm. and caterpillars means Eat, they're eating, eating the plants. plants yeah. Yep. So it's a, it's a delicate balance. Yeah. Are they, is this a peperomia? Do you know? Um, it looks it like it. It looks like uh -huh. one. It's a massive leaf. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? No, is this? Yeah, that looks like a peperomia yeah. inflorescence. Yep, here you go. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, super nice. I've never seen this one before. I can collect the name for you. Oh my gosh, it looks like a, it looks like a large version of peperomia elongata, but I wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. And then some calumnias right here, maybe. Yep. Absolutely. So much to see, so little time. <laughs> uh huh. And here we're starting to see some of the uh, big leaf philodendrons yeah, and uh, favorite, anthuriums. Right? Yeah, they're one of our favorite collections here. I mean, you just don't know where to look. Do you look down? Do you look up? Do you look across? I mean, there's just too much. I know I'm going to have to come here a second day just to kind of... <laughs> come here and nerd out a little bit. Yep, so there's our biggest anthuriums here. Man, yeah, they are huge. Are those some giant philodendron varicosums? or yep. not quite sure. I believe so. Okay. Oh, they are just huge. Oh, and there's some, like, the ones that are corrugated. Uh, cor corrugated. Corrugatum, maybe? Uh, I call it the pig ear. Pig ear, yeah. Been a chance to see Marina Bay. Was this land reclaimed from the water? Is this or? Yeah, the this? Okay. Olive Gardens by the Bay is yeah. on reclaimed land. And I should point out that uh, this is Bay South. This is phase one of three. Our second project is across the bay over here. This is what we call Bay East. And this will be uh, where the Founders Memorial that uh, pays respects to the founding fathers of Singapore mm. um, will be the Keystone Project over there in 2025. And we'll develop it and I'm sure it will have uh, lots of cool, cool plants and uh, the next garden of the future on wow. that side. And then starting here at the uh, um, Ferris wheel. Yep, at the Ferris wheel, the Singapore Flyer is our third phase. Base Central is a 20 hectare plot that follows the Kalong River up, and that'll be our, our third development. In total, will be over 100 hectares right in the heart of the city. It's again, that, that commitment to the garden. Yeah. Well, you're sure as hell drawing a crowd too, so. <laughs> yeah. This year, we uh, will go over our 50 millionth visitor and 12 million in attendance this year alone. The first couple of years, we had to tell people where Singapore was at yeah. uh, when we were going around and telling them uh, sourcing plants. Um, now, people know the name Gardens by the Bay. Um, most places we go. Did you enjoy this video? Then give it a thumbs up. And you can support this channel by hitting the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you don't miss the final episode of this five-part tour of Gardens by the Bay. In addition to subscribing to Plant One On Me, you can follow along on my blog at homesteadbrooklyn.com and Instagram at homesteadbrooklyn, and dive into the recently released Houseplant Masterclass, the first comprehensive online course on houseplant cultivation, care, and maintenance at houseplantmasterclass.com. <laughs>